Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a quick demo on how to use um, Tombow markers, brush markers, to uh, be able to color with. It has a brush tip like that, and on the other end it has a finer tip. I'm going to show both. And I'm using my latest mandala design called Mary Mary as my mandala to color today, which is where if you want your own copy to color, go to mandalastocolor.com, scroll down to find under new designs Mary Mary, and you can download it and color it for your own personal use. Uh, anything else, then you need to get my permission for it. Anyway, go ahead and download it. So what I want to demonstrate, a couple of ways to color. And um, there's a tendency when you color with markers is that, uh, you know, the lines, um, it can look really messy. With the, especially for coloring all over the place. So I'm going to encourage you to do just a couple of uh, little things to make this work for your advantage. So for instance, if you're coloring in a circle, so I'm using a, this lime yellow green. So you just fill it in like that. And now to give it a little bit more depth, use a darker color, determine which just like a half moon kind of thing, and then come right back in with the other, a first color. And while it's still wet enough, um, you can blend it. And then to get that dark green off of your light green, just use another piece of paper and brush it off and it'll be right back to normal. Um, that which also I want to remind you. Um, so I had printed this on uh, cardstock, 100 pound cardstock, so that I could run it through the printer and print it out. Um, if you, any kind of paper that is not designated for markers, um, if you do use it on this kind of paper, if you press too hard or stay too long in a spot, it will um, pill. Uh, um, the pulp, it'll turn to pulp. So I encourage you to do uh, light coloring and then go, uh, better to do it in layers um, and come back and fine tune. Unless you're trying to do a blending like here, then just do it quickly and, and it should be okay. So that's kind of a, a circular fill in um, shape and, but now to do get um, a straight line is to try try to vary your line lengths just to make so uh, to avoid something where you have something like that because wherever there's an overlap that's going to be darker unless that's the effect you want to create and that's fine but if you don't want to create that then just mix up the line length to fill it in if you're going to do, if you want a more linear look, and then just brush in on the edges. Now, um, another way to do lines, let's say you want um, this to all go in one direction. So here you could do them all the same length, and don't worry about it making up the edges or missing the edges. Now what you do is you come in with a lighter color and then just kind of fill in because it'll blend. You'll still have that linear look, but then you have all the spaces filled in. Okay, and then um, I wanted to show how uh, you can use the um, circular stroke to fill in. So I'm using this kind of lighter green. This 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 can yeah I just can do it here. So you just use a circular stroke to fill in. And then come in with a little darker one also using the circular stroke. What that does the circular stroke gives you a little more texture. And here too you come back in that. 
And uh, last thing I wanted to show was um, using the 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 narrow tip. So for most part, I use a brush tip, a brush tip, which also can give you a great introduction to watercolor. So if you get used to using the brush tip, um, it will it'll get you more comfortable to move into painting with watercolors because it'll give you a feel for how um, how to work with that media. And the markers, I find, is less intimidating way to start. So you can add texture. So, um, But I wanted to show using the other end, the narrow tip, where um, you can use this to create texture by just doodling like that. I did a whole whole uh, mandala that way and it came out really cool. So uh, you could also just use color in uh, with the lighter color and then with the darker color color in like that. You could either leave it like that or you could come back with the lighter one and blend it. Okay, so anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, I'll do more demonstrations with using markers, but that's it for today. Hopefully you get a chance to download this and color it for yourself, and um, happy coloring.